Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kimberly Cortez and I am the author of Expedition Love, my new book that has just been released. I wanted to take some time first and foremost to thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for coming to hear me talk about all the different things I want to talk about. I'm truly honored to be quite frank with you that you would stop by and listen to me talk about different things that I want to discuss. So I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping by. I want to ask you to please subscribe down below so that you can be notified every time there's a new video. And you know, I want to encourage you to get in the discussion board down there too. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you want to hear about in the future. Let me know about your life so that we can really get to know each other and really start to converse on a regular basis. So do that today, do it right now. And uh, to start off, I wanted to start my YouTube channel with a video on the subject of love. Because, I mean, to be straightforward with you, my book is all about love. That's what Expedition Love is all about. So let's talk about love for a minute. You know, I believe that we all have a purpose in our life. And I believe that Jesus came here to teach us what that purpose is. You know, the true message of Jesus, that's what I wanted to be able to get through in my book. The true, organic, undiluted message of Jesus. Because the truth is, his message was all about love. It was all about how he loved us, how he wanted us to love God, and how he wanted us to love ourselves and others. That was the core main message. And everything he did was to teach us and to show us exactly how that's lived out in real time. Not talked about, not thought about, but lived out in real time. He was the living example of love in action. And, you know, I just want to talk about what that love looks like and how maybe we can start to think about it in a way that will help us begin to live it out in our lives. So one of the key things I want to talk about today is just simply agape love. What is it? What does it look like? And how can we operate in it? So when Jesus walked this earth, what he was really demonstrating to us was agape love. And what is agape love? Agape love is the purest form of love that there is. It's on, honestly, it's the love that God has toward his creation. It's a pure unfiltered, unconditional love that can never be broken. We can never escape from it. We can never do anything so bad in our lives that we don't have it in our life anymore. We can never break that bond with God. It's just impossible. And you know, at the core, what I want you to realize is that agape love is all about connection. It's about a connection with God, an unbreakable connection that can never be severed not by man, not by the enemy, not by anyone. And I just want you to know that that agape love, it lives inside of you. If you look deep into your soul, you're going to realize that that agape love is dying to get out. It's dying to be manifest to other people in your life. And what it's really about is realizing and recognizing that you are connected to every single person around you. There is a connection, and that connection comes through the love of God, through His love and energy. It binds us all together. And when we start to recognize that, when we start to understand that, it becomes much easier to understand people, to really accept them, to tolerate our indifferences, to tolerate our imperfections, and to really just begin to understand that you are my brother and you are my sister, and we are connected by the loving, healing energy of God. That's an important and powerful truth that I really want to help everybody understand. But here's another truth. The truth is we've all been hurt. We've all been damaged. We've all been traumatized sometimes by other people, by those same people we're supposed to love. So how do we get past these boundaries in our life that hold us back and that keep us from really diving in and loving each other, from giving self-sacrificially and, and from just being that agape love expression that God wants for us to be? How do we do that? 
Well, the truth is we have to start in our thought life. We have to start in the secret places of our heart and our soul that have pain and have unfortunately trauma that is just stopping us from taking that step towards love. You know, I really honestly believe that every single person watching this video has a different story, has a different trauma, has a different pain, some of them much deeper than others. But at the core, what that pain does is it brings division. It puts you into a position where you start to retract your heart and take it away from the world around you, maybe even from yourself. You start to build walls and build divisions to keep others out. And that's what we have to learn to stop doing. That's what we have to learn to get past so that we can step into agape love. And when we start getting that healing, when we start taking that healing on and doing inner work and finding inner peace and finding our inner gifts and talents, then we can start manifesting that love and working that love out in our own lives and really start living the abundant life that Jesus promised us and really start tapping in to our purpose and our destiny. That's what we're here for, to find that purpose and destiny. So along this journey of YouTube channel videos, which will hopefully get better and better with each one as I practice more and more, um, along that journey, my hope and my prayer is that we will together explore that healing, together explore those gifts and talents, and together learn to really, really walk in agape love, to start expressing it outwardly towards our others in this world around us, and to start really, really understanding that we are connected. We are connected. Are we all one? No, we're not. I am a unique individual. God created me unique and special, and there is only one me, and there's only one you, but we are connected. We are united. And we need to bring back that unity by healing our minds, by healing our hearts, and by freeing ourselves to express that love to each other. I love you. I pray that this YouTube channel will be a source of healing for you and for me. And I pray that you'll come back often to see what else we're talking about. Um, I just want to let you know. Some of the resources that I've used over the years to help myself, and you'll read about this in my book, if you read it, <laughs> which I hope you will, um, is meditation. I love meditation. It's so healing to the inner soul. It is just so healing. And I've made a whole bunch of meditations for you to enjoy, for you to use it as a resource. And I'm going to be posting all of those here on my YouTube channel for you to use for free. I'm not looking to make a profit from them. I really, my prayer around these meditations is that you will find healing through them on some level that will free you to operate in your gifts and your talents and to manifest agape love to yourself and others around you. So today, after I post this video, I'm going to be posting my first two meditations. And of course, they're on the subject of love. Uh, one is a guided meditation. And one is a positive affirmations meditation. So I encourage you to listen to them. Use earbuds. It'll help you really focus and hear all of the, uh, the instructions and the words and just really take you to a deeper place. It'll help you go inward more. So try to use earbuds. Try to go to a quiet place. And just really, you know, listen to them and, and see what the Holy Spirit does to your thought life and to your heart and to your healing journey through them. I pray that they will be a blessing to you. I pray that God's anointing will be on them and that he will use them to heal many people. That's my prayer. What a blessing that would be. So I think that's it for today. That's my first YouTube video. I hope I did okay. I'm an amateur, but I'll get better. <laughs> but please come back, see me often. I really, truly do love you. And I really, truly do want to find this journey together and take this journey together. So until next time, enjoy the meditations. And if you haven't read my book, there's a link below. Please order it. Please read it. All of this will make more, much more sense if you've read it. 
And you know, I humbly ask if you love it, if it resonates with you, post on your social media, help me get the word out. I'm an unknown, nobody knows me. I'm an indie writer, I need your help. So please put a little comment out into the world and you know, word of mouth is the most powerful advertising there is. So please help me out. And uh, if you love it, just let people know. Okay, there's a link below to purchase that book. There's a link below to subscribe and to put some comments down below so that we can interact. All right, take care, guys. I will see you next week with our next video. And I love you. And peace and blessings. Take care.